Sam here. Welcome to You Fucked Up. What age? What age? Did you get diagnosed? Let me take my note out. With being an asshole. Y'all, people of any age can be diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. There's people in their 50s, 60s now. I was diagnosed when I was 23. Now, one of the things you need to know about type 1 diabetes is as an exponentially growing illness, growing it like something more than 3% per year, a lot of the, the biggest growth rates are in older populations. So way back in the day, this used to be known as juvenile diabetes. That's instead of type 1, you had juvenile. Um, and, and that was the same. But today it's like, well, I was diagnosed when I was 23. You have people being di diagnosed in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. Um, you also have functional type 1 diabetic patients, people who had a surgery uh, or for other medical reasons, something happened, and after that point, they're no longer able to produce insulin. So that's interesting. When we go with this ignorant kind of model, uh, you don't look like a type 1 diabetic. How could you be a type 1 diabetic? How could you get to... You know, I, I have to share the story. There there was um, somebody who, and this was in a consultation with a doctor. They had to go to a gastrointestinologist or uh, get some, some work on their GI. And that doctor said, there's no way that you could be type 1. You're too old for that. You must have type 2. And of course, testing for type 1 diabetes is very simple. We have antibody testing um, that, that will show that someone isn't, doesn't have the cells anymore that make insulin. So, surprisingly, surprisingly, um, to, 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 to bring love, I guess, to those who are being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, who are in age populations that they're not kids anymore, to help normalize that, it would be really helpful if you or we could follow this one lesson. Um, when you see someone, if they say they're type 1, don't question it. That'll be the rule for this video.